maete o o sisi maete 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 o o baba maete 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 o o sisi maete maete God is a good God. Tonight is a special night. It is special because God wants to speak to you. I invite you to listen and pray as you listen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, tonight be vindicated. Tonight yours is the glory and yours is the honor. Come by here. Pass by this place. In fact, sit next to us. As we speak to ears, you please talk to hearts. After all is said and done, we give the glory to Jesus Christ who died for us and lives for us. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Jeremiah 29, verse number 11 is where we begin tonight. I want to encourage you, if you have a pen and paper, take down these verses for yourself. Because tonight we've got quite a few verses to read. Jeremiah 29, verse number 11, we begin. Yes. Because I know the thoughts I think toward you. I, Jehovah, am thinking of you. And when I'm thinking of you, I have plans for you. And my plans for you are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. In fact, I want to give you hope and a future. That's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking plans to prosper you and not to harm you. It is the devil's habits to try to pin blame on God. But tonight, let it be clear once and for all that God plans to not harm anyone. God's plans are to prosper us, to give us an expected end. And so tonight, I declare that God did not do it. God did not do it. He did not do anything to harm us. Whatever evil has befallen you, our God did not do it. God is not the author of evil. God is love and he is thinking good things for us. We must understand tonight that we have been given the gift of choice. And often times, by our choices, we block or impede our own blessings. Ha singwari anoti kanganisa 
Tiri te ga tino zuipiringisha. Many of us self sabotage. Pa chese nuti no zipiandare. Wale asi be aged out urambwe. Self sabotage. We are constantly impeding our own destinies by our own choices. God had good plans for you. But your choices trip you and cause you to fall and derail you out of the way. For you to be able to live the life that God wants you to live. And so tonight, I give you ten ways Ten ways of tripping yourself. Are you ready, Church of God? Hello, Sangado. Number one, disobedience. Disobedience is a way that causes us to cause our own selves to fall. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to verse number 14. Listen to what the Bible says. Uh -huh. One more time. Hold on, elder. If you diligently listen, if you obey, let's go. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Let's go. Yes. Keep reading. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. we have just read is talking about the blessings that follow obedience. And if you keep 
following and obeying the word of God and not turn aside from the commandments of Jehovah. These blessings are promised to you. But the reverse is also true. The opposite is true. If you disobey the law of Jehovah, the voice of God, and you do not follow his commandments, what happens to you is that instead of being blessed, you shall find that you will be cursed. People today are hurting themselves. They are destroying themselves by their own disobedience. It is not God, but it is your own disobedience that is causing you not to enjoy the blessings that God intended for you. Where God, you are the one who is disobeying and robbing yourself of the blessings that God has for his children. Then we look for people to accuse. But there is no one to accuse but you. By disobedience and rebellion. Number two. Covering your sins. Number one, disobedience. Number two, covering your sins. Proverbs 28, verse number 13. It simply says, He who conceals his sins. Amen. That's what it says. He that covers his sins shall not prosper. No one covers for you. You cover for yourself and deny that you have done it. When you are guilty, no joy or happiness for you, no prosperity, unless you confess and forsake it. So number two is covering for your sin. Number three, blessing blocker. We have two blessing blockers so far. Number one, disobedience. Number two, number two, G. Yes, covering your sins. Number three, your words. Watch your words. Proverbs 18, verse number 21. Rurimi rune simba pamsoro perufu ne upenyu. The tongue has power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruits. Watch your tongue. Ino kupiringisha. It will trip you by yourself. Your own tongue. Numbers 14, verse number 28. Zime zinoda evidence to see if it's true. Panere, varimo mshokorangwari, wakambo zikwazisa nekutawara kwao. 
Let's find out in the book of Numbers. Numbers 14, verse number 28. Jehovah is speaking to the children of Israel. After they have rebelled against God, listen to what God says. Come on, read it, my elder. Yes. Uti kwawari, tell them. Hands na Jehovah. Ziro kwazo. Ne upenyu wangu. Seja naka taura. What you said. That's what I'm going to do. You said you shall perish in the wilderness. You said God wants to destroy us. That's why he took us from Egypt. I shall do for you. Watch what you say. Five. If you want to say that, it shall be like that. Now you hear church? Blessing blocker. Number four. Remember, we have ten ways that we trip ourselves. Let's try again. Number one. Disobedience. Number two. Covering your sins. Number three. Your words. Watch your words. They destroy dreams. And kill the future. Number four is pride. Pride. Proverbs 29. Verse number 23. Kuzikuza kwa munu, kucha mudu kupisa. The pride of a man. A man's pride brings him low. It scoops you, it trips you, it puts you down. Your own pride. No one does it, it's you. Akuna munga no shita njiweweza. No, it's you. Your own pride. A man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold him. Honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Blessing blocker number five. Stinginess. Stinginess. Tonight, my friend, let's preach together. I will not diagnose you. You diagnose yourself. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Which check away gamoyo magoti. Diagnose yourself tonight so that you can stop tripping yourself. So you can enjoy the prosperity and the life, the expected end that God has for you. Stinginess. An unwillingness to share. A lack of generosity. Proverbs 11, verse number 24. Proverbs 11, verse number 24. One man gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffers want. Over Aramba at Taiwa. Umariko Anoparadzira. Umariko Anoparadzira. Ona Achiwezerwa. 
Uyari kwa ano nyima. Ungo ba nyima. Zaka fani rakupa asi zunongo mshu. Zunongo mshaisa. Ano goramba achishaiwa. Urugu shaya. Nogutu uro nyima. Ndizozo. That's why you don't have. Dosa ka usina. It's not because Jehovah does not want to bless you. Ndiwe. Urugu zipiri ngisha. Urugu zidone za wega. Uno zidone za wega. All by yourself. Two feet. Wega uchi zipia ndare. Stinginess. Kunyima. Check yourself. Zima chepa jezako. Blessing blocker number six. Chechi tanatu. Other people's opinion. Listening too much to other people's opinion. One more time. Blessing blocker number six. Number six. You know, for us, listening too much to opinions of other people. Number one. Number one. Disobedience. Number two. Covering your sins. Number three. Your words. Number four. Pride. Number five. Stinginess. Number six. Other people's opinion. Mark 3 verse 21. Talking about Jesus. It says when his family heard it. Hello? They just He would not have gone to the cross. Sure. Because the people were saying, you saved your others, save yourself. The people were saying, come down from the cross. Jesus was not in the habit of following after other people's opinions. Hello? They are people who have ugly hairstyles because they listen to other people's opinions. Hello? Are you here? I was sitting in my car one day and I observed a woman who was coming from the one side. She met with another woman who was coming from the other side. The one who was coming from the other side had no hair on the left. Had no hair on the right. She had a little track of hair on the top. And it was purple. And, uh, looking like a rooster. She saw her friend. She said, ah, hello, hi. And they started talking. I overheard the one who had the rooster hairstyle talking to the other woman who had nice hair that was natural. She looked at her and said, Queen, I'm sorry. And then the other one started being shy and saying, uh, uh, I'll show you my stylist, she said. Hello? Other people's opinions. All advice is not good advice. Ha, one more time. Zakari. Not all advice is good advice. Let's try again. Not all advice. No. Some of them are foolish. Some will tell you to leave your husband because he's lost a job. 
Some will tell you. Some will tell you things they don't even do in their own home. Watch out. Watch out for people's opinion. Live your life, church. Live your life, church. Don't dress according to fashion for people's opinions. Live your life. Not all advice is good advice. Other people's opinion. Blessing blocker. Number seven. Fear. Fear. People are afraid. Holy people have been known to fear. Joshua was told, do not be afraid. I am with you. Elijah encouraged people not to be afraid. Mary was told by the angel to not be afraid. Because fear has taken many a blessing away from people. First John 4, verse number 18. Write it down. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love casts out fear. Do not be afraid. God is with you. Do the things he wants you to do. Do not be afraid. Perfect love. Trust in God. And perfect love casts out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. He who is afraid is not yet in perfect love. Fear steals people's blessing. Ipopano, Pastor Rimao. Fear. 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 Afraid. But Jesus is saying, do not be afraid. Don't fear what God has for you. Don't lose. Fear of education. Fear of trying. Fear of approaching a young lady. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fear loses an opportunity for you. Fear blocks your blessing. Let's make sure they remember. Number one. The guys on the right, remember, what's going on on the left? Number one. Yes, number two. Number three. Yes, number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight, lack of integrity. Lack of integrity. When people meet Jesus, they gain integrity. Attempting suicide. They had bound him up and he was naked. But when he met Jesus, they saw him again sitting down. He was now sitting down, not running around aimlessly, 
not by the corners in the streets. He was now sitting down. He was clothed in his right mind. Integrity is gained when you meet Jesus. Proverbs 14, verse number 34. Righteousness exalteth a nation. Righteousness exalteth a nation. Blessing blocker number nine. Blessing blocker number nine. Unforgiveness. Please listen to me tonight. Because God is speaking to you. There is many things you could have done. Many things you wanted to do in your life. But the obstacle that is causing you to miss God's plan for you. Unforgiveness. Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15. Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 and 15. Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15. Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15. For if you forgive men of their trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive men their trespass, neither will your Father forgive your trespass. And this is in Ruth's Torah, Elder. Matthew chapter 6. And he's saying, if you don't forgive people who have trespassed against you, it is like you are drinking poison to hurt somebody else. You are not forgiving, so you are not going to be forgiven yourself. Unforgiveness blocks the power of God from working fully in your life. Do yourself a favor tonight. Forgive them. Forgive them. You, 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 you've got a, a grudge inside. He is living his life. He has moved on, move on. Mm-hmm. It's gone, you can end. Move on. Work for more money now. God will bless you. Don't keep holding on. Not upon a good. Muna 2008, Muna 2008, Muna 2000. What about 2008? 2023 now. Move on. Forgive. Regerera. Forgive. Regerera. Blessing blocker. Number 10. Lack of prayer. Lack of prayer. James 4, verse 2 and verse number 3. Munoraya Mogodorana. Yeah. You kill. Mm-hmm. You last. You convert, but you don't obtain. You fight in war, but you do not have. Hamuna chinu nekuti hamukumbiri. You don't have because you do not ask. You complain, you fight, you argue, but you do not kneel and ask. 
That's why you don't have. Munando data, one week we came meeting and they don't ask. Singing. All kinds of things, socializing. But you don't have. Because you did not ask. Take time to pray. Take time to pray. Ten blessing brothers tonight. Things that cause you to trip yourself. I challenge you. I challenge you. Check yourself. Check yourself. You don't need the pastor to check this one for you. You don't need the pastor to do this. Examine yourself. And tonight, for the first time in your life, get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. And let God give you what he's always wanted to give you. I told you, blessing blockers. But I can't stop on the negative. Let me tell you what you can do so that you can be and enjoy the life that God wants for you. For you to enjoy these things, there are four things that you need. Number one, God requires alignment. God requires alignment with him. We must be in line with God. Matthew 6, verse 10. This is part of the Lord's Prayer. He said, pray thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. So you must pray for God's will to be done. In other words, your will must align with God's will. What I want must be the same as what God wants for me. Thy will be done. Not my will but thy will be done. I am not surrendering, I am choosing. I am choosing to align with God. What is God's will? God's will is that I find a boyfriend who believes what I believe. I see John, but John does not come to church. So what should I do? I must change and align what God wants and what I want should align. And I should say, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Not my will, but thy will be done. So if you want to enjoy God's blessings, align yourself to God's will. Align yourself to God's will. Number two, obedience. Obedience. Number three. James 4, verse 7. James chapter 4, verse 7. James 4, verse 7. Jacob chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. The problem with many people, they try to resist the devil before they submit to God. It says, 
Step number one. Submit yourself to God. After you've submitted to God, then you resist the devil. And you will see that you will flee. But our mistake is that we want to resist the devil in our own power. You have no chance against the devil on your own. What you will need to do is tag Jesus and submit yourself to God. Then you say, devil, no. No adultery. No drugs. No alcohol. Because you have submitted to God. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And the devil will flee. Lastly, steadfastness. Steadfastness. 1 Corinthians 15, verse number 58. Verse 58. You know, this is like a hammer down. You know, this is not for the weak. This is for those who stand strong. Who, stead, who are steadfast. It says, in the same verse, immovable. Immovable. Come what comes, immovable. Steadfast. Whether in sickness, in sickness, steadfast. In health, steadfast. In poverty, steadfast. In wealth and prosperity, steadfast. People who are unmovable, standing on the truth of the word of God. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that your labor is not in vain. Steadfastness. And if you can do these four things, then tonight you can expect a blessing from Jehovah. Faith is like running a relay. When you are running a relay, you expect that your friend is coming with a button behind you. Those who know anything about relays is that those who are expecting their partner to come, you must start jogging with your hand ready to receive. Faith is like running a relay. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so they must be prepared and start expecting that God is about to do something for me in my life. They must start moving forward. Even though they don't see it. Even though you can't see it. But you know that you can expect a blessing. Diagnose yourself tonight. It's time. It's time, my friend, that you get out of your own way. No one's going to do it for you. No one is responsible for your failure. God has good plans for you. But our choices constantly impede us. 
from the destiny that God has for us. Jesus died for everyone. Every single one. There is a room enough, enough space in heaven for every single person on planet earth. But our own choices will lead us not to enjoy the heaven that our Savior has prepared for us. Too late. Get out of the way. Stop scooping your own self and tripping your own self. The choice is yours. I know the thoughts. I think towards you. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil. To give you an expected end, he said. But you've been tripping yourself with disobedience. You've been tripping yourself by covering your sins. You've been tripping yourself by pride. You've been tripping yourself by your word. You've, you've been tripping yourself by listening too much to other people's opinions. You have been tripping yourself by fear. But tonight, my friend, choose to get out of the way. Move out of the way and let's start moving. God has planned for you. They took 40 years. In the wilderness. When God wanted them to be there as soon as possible. It was only supposed to take a few days. But their choices. Prolonged the blessing. They did not get to Canaan. Because of their choices. So tonight. Is there somebody who is saying, ah, pastor, I see it. It's me. It's not God. He has power. And he loves me. It's me. God has given me so many chances. But I falter myself. But no more. I no more want to hide and cover my sins. I don't want to disobey anymore. I don't want to talk hopelessness and negativity. I don't want to be dragged with the wind of people's opinions. I want to obey God. I want to align with God. And I want to be steadfast with God. And for that I can expect a blessing. From a God who loves me. If tonight. If tonight. You are making a decision. To get out of your own way. To Stop tripping yourself. I invite you to stand as we pray. Honesty is needed in the actions we take. Have you ever wondered why the preacher asked you to stand or to come forward? Why, why do they do that, these preachers? Because they want you to exercise your choice. God works with our choices. He does not force, but he cooperates with the choices we make. And so tonight, the only reason I ask you to stand is for if you are honestly making that stand. 
kana uru kuto simukira zvecho kwadi izvi uchirevesa nemoyo wese uru kurevesa yes don't just stand don't stand to copy people don't, uh, don't follow I people ai kona simuka nje uchinakirwa nevamwe vari simuka actually sit down kana usi kurevesa gara hako pasi because you end up getting blocking a blessing for yourself by standing when it's not true and sincere unogumisira wako vhara zvikomborero zvaifana kuuya pauri nenye kuti hauzviri kurevesa but i thank god for you vari kutenda mwari nekuda kwenyu who stand in sincerity wamira vachirevesa zvibva pasemoyo i sincerely believe vari kuzvikana pasemoyo wao that you can expect a blessing from jehovah kuti munogona kuwana zvikomborero zvauna jehovah mura ask pastor rimao to come forward Wari kumbira pastor Rima kuti vaure kuno and pray with us tonight. Wana matemwe tumane vanhu. Move out of your own way. Buda kunzira kuzvitengesa. Give God a chance. Ipa mwari mukana to do what he wants to do in your life. Kuti aite zvano da kuita mupiri wako. Chimbola ina umbeita zvari kutaura. Ichipepete upiri wako na mwari. Umbosiana ona yo nguruve unoti your health will not improve here. Ube panguru unotaura pero kapona. Try it. Let God do his will in your life. Sama mwari vari kune zvano da pauri. Put the beer aside and say no. I'm I'm going to align. Imbosia o doro nemutoriro unoti mwari hava usandi newe. I'm going to try this tithing thing. Zama izvo unoti mwari hava usandi newe. This thing called tithing and offering. I'm going to try it. Zvipone zvegumimbo zvizama. I want to align. Uti pepete na mwari. And let's let, 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 let's see. Tigona if you give God a chance kuti ukapa mwari mukana if he will not bless you hako kwapadzirere pastor rima watina mapei baba wedu ari kutenga tinyaya komborisa mwana rama tsaka kutenga hi nemukana wamapipo ekunzoshwa koreni parau ya kwatiri rika tipatsira zvati vasandise pakurama upenyu hwakuenda zvati makumbira mponesa pakutunga kwataita kuti tigora rama zvanomota inemutsetsedza kwataita tigosiya otsika zvinoti pirindisha pakuita receive zvikomboro zvinobva kwa mwari taura onesu pakusiyana nekushoma zera edu kana nataura nesu tigo wawenyu netsinga pera tigo pakutenga kwestareni mazwa ese upenyu hwako ndiri tigo pira kwestareni nezvaka samurai tsaka kutenga hi kuti munonzi akukumbira chose uidwa kuna mapeli tsaka jesu tiona mata amen amen kuwaye kuna mata moyo wena
Yeah. 